so it's been 3 years since I got my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 device and have been considering to drop it since I'm using an Apple device since last year. So today, I have decided to make a video review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 to see if it's still relevant this 2019. So let's get started. So let's start with the physical appearance of the phone. As you can see, it has dents and scratches on the sides, justifying its baddest performance since I got it. Because I have been using it as my main phone and I brought it with me for all my travels from 2015 to the first quarter of 2018. It's durable and reliable. It has 5.7 inches Super AMOLED screen which is considered small nowadays compared to the phones now available in the market. So as you can see, it's still battery smooth so you can actually switch between um, pages on your phone and long press so it's very smooth, it's still fluid. So one thing I like is that actually the access to your email right uh, on your home screen so you have notifications there, you have news here, and the Galaxy app is still supported. So this phone runs on Android 5.0, so as you can see it still looks good, doesn't look cheap, looks like leather, however there are some tears and worn out, but still the performance of this phone is still, still great. As you can see the viewing angles are still nice. So one thing that I like about the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is the ability to remove its back cover. So after three years of using it, you can see that my phone is the white version. So it's still presentable, still looks stylish, and it doesn't look cheap at all even though it's plastic. So, so I have the 32 gigabyte version, but still I am able to expand it to 64 gig via the expansion slot here. I have been using this one for the past two years for editing my vlogs. So I just wanna share with you how I edit here. As you can see, the colors are still vibrant. It's still usable to uh, edit. So guys, this is the video sample from my Samsung Note 3. As you can see, the video quality is still very pleasing. It's still capable of recording 4K videos. And the sound here is really great. You can actually hear me very clearly. So let's try to zoom it in. So this is the video sample taken from my Samsung Note 3 and the iPhone 6s Plus. This is the side-to-side -side comparison of the video. As you can see on the Note 3, the greens are rich, it's deeper, while on the iPhone, um, the greens have been muted. So guys, one of the key features of any Note device is the stylus. So this has been very useful to me, especially when I'm editing my vlogs and when I'm doing some drawings and sketch for artwork for my thumbnails and for my Instagram posts, I could actually use this. So honestly, it's not for everyday use since there are times when you don't actually need it. But I prefer having it than to not have it at all. I said I am considering to say goodbye to this device, but after this review, I honestly think that there are things this badass can still do for me. It is still presentable, the battery is good, the sound is crisp, and the screen is decent, and most importantly, it does the job. So would I recommend you guys to buy this phone this year? 
um, let's be honest if you have to spend money I suggest you buy the Note 5 or even Note 8 Samsung stop software update for this device although it's still fluid but it's not the fastest but if you already have it like me there are dozens of reasons for you to keep it this 2019 for some reasons I can't let go of this device because it has played a great role in my social media career so let me know in the comment sections of what you think about the Galaxy Note 3 and if you have one in your pocket share your personal experience and the reason why you still have it so see you again on the next gadget review.